Hey guys! Um, another Urban Decay video just because I loved their launches. Love them. So I'm very excited to present to you today the new Urban Decay Wild West palette from their Naked line. And look at this gorgeous packaging. I love it so much. And here's what the eyeshadows look like. I already used the palette yesterday, so it's not brand new anymore. Um, I attended a masterclass with Urban Decay Switzerland and Isabella Cruz. She's the sweetest. I will um, link her Instagram down below. She's so, so cute. She's so nice. And yeah. You can go to my Instagram account to see the look that we created yesterday. And today I just wanted to talk you through a little tutorial. Not sure what I'm gonna film. As always, I never have a plan. I'll just do something with this baby. Okay? Yeah, let's start. I've already done my base because I didn't want this video to be again half an hour long. I hope it won't be, oh my goodness, probably it is. Um, it's the Urban Decay uh, Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator, medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. This is the product that I'm having now on my face and guys, I instantly fell in love. Oh my God, this is a... Dry skin's dream come true. It's so good. Hydromaniac is the perfect name for it. I have it in the shade 20 Fair and it's a perfect match. Yeah, I don't see any difference between my face and my neck. It's so great. And I bought this myself and it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Not sure how people with oily skin will react to this. Not sure, but I mean, um, there are so many reviews on YouTube here, so maybe check those out. But for my dry skin, perfect. And I used some other stuff on my face and set it everything with my all-nighter waterproof setting powder. Bought this myself as well. Um, but I have this in my collection since, uh, quite, a, since quite some time, okay. Great. Oh, and my brows. I have that uh, Urban Decay brow blade. Is it called brow blade? Something like that. I have that on my brows today. Love this in the darkest shade. I think dark drapes or something like that. But enough rambling. Let's start with this tutorial. <laughs> First of all, let's start with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in original. We all know and love this eye primer, right? It's so great. This was sent to me and I haven't used it in a long time, but I'm very excited that I have now because I'm not using it on other people. I will quickly go in onto my lids. Not the most hygienic way, but it's just me that's using it. I stopped doing all those uh, makeup artist things. So, yeah, blending that in with my ring finger. And this is a great, great primer that's um, also a little bit sticky, so your eyeshadows will stay put. And I try to take it up almost to the brow. And I learned a nice tip yesterday from Isabella. Um, she likes to take a little plate where she can mix stuff on it and then she breaks up, the, she breaks off the tip of uh, the 24-7 eye pencils uh, from Urban Decay and then she mixes it with a little bit of the primer potion and if you want to get out a little bit more than what's on the wand, you can just squeeze it out onto the plate, mix them together and then you get that beautiful cream eyeshadow and you can just 
apply it on your uh, lids and it will stay on forever. I mean, until you take it off, okay? But I have never um, thought about doing that, so maybe I should try that in the future. Okay, and now let's go on to the star of the show today, the Naked Wild West palette. As I said, I have no idea what I will create. Probably something a little more subdued, a little bit more natural today because uh, yesterday's look was quite intense, beautiful but intense. And let me start with Nudie, this third nude shade here. It's a beautiful neutral shade. This looks like it's very pigmented. Okay, it's maybe a little bit more warm on the lids than I expected it to be. It's such a pretty shade. It's perfect for someone as fair as I am as a transition shade. I love Urban Decay's eyeshadows actually. As I said in my last uh, Urban Decay video, which was um, like two videos ago, where I showed you the Decades uh, palette, I think that they're so nice and they work so well on the lids. Like sometimes you swatch them and you feel like they aren't the most pigmented, but on your eyes they work just so well and that's what matters. Okay, next. What are we gonna do next? Hmm. Let's take Whiskey. This dark brown here. It's a very pretty shade. And taking Whiskey into my outer part. So maybe I should have created the look that we created yesterday, but it was quick, it was so quick. I was so surprised how quickly we created that look and it was so beautiful, in my opinion at least. And I'm not talking about my look, I'm talking about um, about uh, the look that Isabella created in general. You can really build up this color, but I wanna Apply just a tiny amount, not like a soft brown smoky eye. Okay, now let's take Rustler. It's this bronzy metallic shade here. Very pretty. Took this with my ring finger and oh my god, I feel like this will be... Wow, yeah. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Ooh. This is my kind of shade. Oh, it's so pretty. Wowie. Putting this just onto the middle part of the lid. And then we have another beautiful, beautiful shade here. It's called Hold'em. It's a flaky kind of gold. It looks a little bit flaky too. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. And applying this into the inner part of the lid. Yeah, this one has some kind of sparkle in it. It's very pretty. Like this one a lot. I really want to try that um, ultra violet eyeshadow palette, to be honest. I don't know why, but it somehow speaks to me. I think that it's very, very gorgeous. I just 
love this eyeshadow look. I don't know why it's so simple, but love it. Okay, next we will take this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Rockstar. It's like a plummy, purpley, beautiful, stunning shade. It's so nice. And I will apply this on my upper lash line and look how pigmented it is it goes on so beautifully I always loved their glide on eye pencils I just need to sharpen this baby a little bit okay perfect and winging it out a little bit because why not? And taking a little synthetic brush to smudge it out a tiny bit. And now, just because I can, I will use the blue shade, the teal shade here, it's called Tex. And applying Tex with like a stiff and flat little brush with just a tiny amount and going over that liner that we created be careful that this eyeshadow doesn't fall onto your cheeks because you can't take this off okay with blues and greens you will struggle. Okay, I love this look. Now, next, I'm gonna take that same pencil that we used before and I will apply it on my lower lash line and almost taking it down. And now, Going into another flat little brush and smudging it out immediately. And now, because these um, liners dry down so quickly, I want to take that same blue text shade before I do the other eye and Applying this onto the outer part and almost connecting it on the outside and on the inner part I will take but this bluey shade here okay I will, I will never again say what I want to create because it always always escalates and it always becomes something else. And yes, yeah, stamping bud into the inner part. Let me repeat the same steps on the other side. And then I'm blending it out. Next, taking text These eyeshadows are so freaking pigmented. And applying bud here onto the inner part. I will take bud into the inner corner as well. Just a little bit and now I will take a Cowboy Rick onto the same brush that we used with Bud and this is like a taupey silvery color and topping Bud 
up here in the inner corners. And now I will take a little bit of Ghost Town, this uh, very warm brown shade here, just like the tiniest, the tiniest amount and going here under text to warm this up just a little bit. Okay, I think, I think that we are good to go. Do I need to do something else? No. Okay, next we have the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. And I have used this yesterday for the first time and oh my God, it's so good. Look at this freaky wand. It has this bristled uh, side here, sorry, here that you can use to really comb through the lashes and to put on the product. And then you have a ball tip here that you can use to go in, really in, and then a flat side on the other side to really lift the lashes. So that's very, very nice and innovative. So just combing this through and it's so good. So I'm hitting the ends with the ball tip and the rest I'm really coating with this bristled side and look what a difference it makes already, right? Okay guys, so that's the finished look. What do you think? It was very simple, as I said, I wanted to create something even more natural but yeah, you know me. You know me, it never goes like I imagine in my head. I always do something else, always. So yeah, let me come a little bit closer so you can see the textures of the eyeshadows and the mascara. And guys, I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm so obsessed. I'm obsessed. I have to quickly just fill in my inner part here of the brow a tiny bit more, so let me grab my brow blade. So here's the brow blade. It has one side with a uh, brush tip applicator, so you can draw on really, really fine brow hairs. And then you have a side with a pencil, and I love this stuff so much. So I'm just gonna quickly Apply a few hairs here. Just a tiny little bit. Okay guys, now I'm finished. As I said, Love the Hydromaniac foundation, it's so freaking good. Love this eyeshadow palette, it's very pretty. Love how versatile it is, like you can create a ton of looks with this, uh, with this palette. You can create so many looks with this palette. Like look at, this eye look at these eyeshadows, you have, you have cool tones in here, you have um, warmer tones, you have again cool tones, you have again warmer tones. Like, this is so versatile. I love it so, so, so much. So thank you very much to Urban Decay Switzerland for sending this to me. And yeah, guys, that's it. <laughs> uh, I wish you all a beautiful day and enjoy and stay safe and healthy and yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment sections, but in the comment section below, and I try to answer everything. So yeah. Okay, guys. Bye.